Breaking news, serious panic in Abuja and Enviro as Abuja schools shut down due to truckloads of bandits who arrived at the town border. Nigerian government is doing nothing about it. Nigerian government is not speaking. Nigerian government is aiding it. Nigerian government is supporting it, paying them handsomely and telling them that business is good, is thriving on this side of the island. Why not come? And so people are arriving because they know that they are paying them. They are giving them the money. They are paying them. So more and more of them are arriving from Niger, from Bene. They are all arriving. And Buhari, like you know, they are his brothers. They are all his brothers. So, I mean, he's doing nothing about it. He's not uh, assisting. He's not doing anything. He's allowing them to continue on their track. And he's allowing them to do whatever they want to do as we speak. More and more of them is, is uh, you know, beginning to appear. We all know that about 50, over 50 uh, towns in Niger has already been, uh, you know, uh, taken over by this bandit. Over 50 of them. So this is what is going on. This is what is happening right now. And these people are in serious dilemma, serious situation that people are beginning to pick their children from school. You know, people are beginning to, schools have shut down <laughs> because your government do not want to do anything. That is the minister of FCT. You can see his face. Schools have shut down. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. Abuja schools shut down as truckload of bandits arrive border town. <laughs> Mr. Kunle Ajika has the, is the one who is feeding us and uh, letting us know the, exactly what is happening now. Desperation and um, panic has set up and filled the whole atmosphere. You know, as police authority in Abuja and Enviro is trying, you know, seriously to keep the environment and everyone safe. Private school in Mbawa Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory yesterday hurriedly, you know, hurriedly quickly did what? Hurriedly shut down. Private schools in the area, you know, in the Federal Capital Territory yesterday hurriedly shut down their activities over fear of possible attack by kidnappers. The leadership learned that some schools hurriedly sent their students home when the news got to them that over 200 unidentified men suspected to be bandits were dropped by a truck in Samba Wasu area of Niger State, a border town with Wari Abuja, the source has said. Some has also come on moving with their cows and other animals have also come into the town. So there is a lot of panic ongoing now. And so parents have been called upon to pick up their students, to pick up their children. School has shut down. Activities have shut down. And, they are, you know, people are just going about quickly behaving as if, you know, it's a state of emergency. What is happening? Besides those that came with truck, there were others that also came with their animal. They, they, they said they were going to Bauchi State as they were coming in. They are coming in, they are, you know, they are, they are getting into the town and they, they, they will sleep by and they were just, lots of them, including women and children. So what do they do? They get to a place and they start, they want to take over people's land. They send their cattle because they do, there is no restriction. Nobody's watching anything. Nobody's making sure that anything is done. You know, Abuja now schools are shut down because we have no government. Nigeria is just everybody do as you please. Do what you like. Parents are in panic. Things are just happening. Headsmen are taking over because, you know, taking over the place because President Muhammadu Buhari is one of them and, you know, wants to make sure that uh, nobody touches them because they are the golden child. Because he's one of them. He has asked all from West Africa. He said these are his brothers. They should come to Nigeria. You see why we are where we are? These are the current predicaments we are facing as a nation. These are some of the activities going on because our government failed to take responsibility. If they know, they, they should go and try it in Ghana now. They should go and try it in Ghana. They will see what a, a Ghana president will do to them. But Nigerian president is their leader, is their president as well. So he has asked all of them to come. Before you say anything, uh, uh, my ETLA is there to tell you that uh, these are their brothers coming from all West Africa and that uh, they invited them. And the presidency cannot say a word. We need a change. See, is it that Nigerian breaks or there is a change of government? It's one of the two. It's one of the two. Because what we currently have today, what we have today, if it continues, this country is going into a dish. What we have today, if it continues, uh, something is seriously wrong.
Yes, big time. Something is wrong. You see, these are the people just flocking in and doing whatever they want to do. And then uh, nobody's paying attention. Lots of them are just flocking into the country. Nobody's asking, where are you coming from? No question asked. And I wonder why, you know, these things are like this. Because of the present predicament of, you know, leadership we have. Those who will not rise up and say the truth. Those who will not rise up and defend the, the, the defendless. Those who are just there, you know, uh, bringing in their brothers and sisters. And now schools are closing up. School, the academic, uh, you know, whatever has been disrupted because Buhari wants to take care of his brothers. Yes? So when Nigerians speak, they say, ah, you're attacking headsmen. Have you seen anyone, any one headsman being persecuted? One. Have you seen them be persecuted? The answer is no. The answer is no. There's no headsmen that have been persecuted and dealt with in this country. The answer is no. Why? They are golden child. They are Buhari's uh, people. Nothing can happen to them. In fact, nobody should touch them. You see, nobody should touch them. This is why the country is where it is today. Because we have a failed system. And Nigeria, things must change. And must change fast. If things do not change, I don't know what's going to happen. There are no security, nothing in place to ensure that this country is looked after. There is nothing to ensure that people, you know, people can go about their business and duty and go about their job. Now, those parents, where will they put their children? So, you know, that one, one thing leads to another. Look at the bus load of them. They just arrived. Truck load of them from Niger because they've told them that don't worry, nothing is happening. The Nigeria, uh, uh, what's it called? Namaiti Allah, they will protect you. If anybody touches you, we will raise an alarm that they are pressing our brothers because they've told them that uh, they should come from all over, that uh, Nigeria is their country given to them by God. I don't know where they got that mentality. They did not even ask that they should, you know, put schools in their area so that they can, they can train with the current day and life. Rather, what they want is, you know, to steal. And government think is okay, it's right, it's okay. They should do whatever they want to do. We cannot continue like that. As a nation, as a people, we cannot continue like that. Things have to change and they have to change now. Things have to change. The current predicament indicates and shows that Nigeria is actually drifting and things are happening. And if something is not done drastically, only God knows where we are headed. Only God knows. So Nigerians, is happening. Schools have shut down in Abuja over insecurity. What is going to happen next? Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.